All right, sound check, one, two. I don't know if you guys just saw when, uh, was it Friday who came and sat down inside but had his reflection just lined up so it looked like he was sitting next to his mom outside? That's a pretty cool effect. All right, hello everybody. I hope you can hear me okay. It's just about time for mailbag. I'm coming in to sit down now. Hopefully we'll get some kittens to join. They were all over here playing just a little bit ago. Okay. So, um, let's see, hang on. Before I start talking, let's make sure that I can be heard. I'm not just talking to myself again. And... Okay, good sound. All right, that's fantastic. The news this week. Uh, boy, I can't even think back to the beginning of the week. It was so long ago. So uh, I'll just give you a quick update on the state of things. Most of these kids are adopted now. Um, we've had uh, the uh, January, uh, Julian, and Greg have gone home. So we still have Holly. This is Monday, and Friday's around somewhere, plus their mom, Cal. Um, and uh, I guess I've been told by Dawes that uh, the adopter for Cal and Holly, uh, we just haven't been able to get in touch with them again, so they say it's time to uh, make sure that, uh, or rather to look for another applicant for, um, I would say, at this point, I would definitely suggest Cal and Holly get adopted separately from each other. Um, if one of the boys' adopters wanted to add on mom, she gets along great with them. They love to play all day long. But ever since Holly's spay, uh, she just hasn't been a big fan of Holly's. I'm hoping that'll change. I was working on them quite a bit yesterday, keeping them together, supervised, making sure that nothing went too far. And it seemed like good progress, actually. So, you know, it's probably not an inevitable thing that Callie's always going to have it out for Holly. And maybe getting her own spay on the 4th will make a difference to her. Who knows? Um, but as long as we don't know, we're living in the question, and I can say the safest thing is to see them adopted separately. Um, I, I, don't know, I feel like they'll be fine, but I just I can't endorse that until I know for sure. So 
so that's where we are. Um, they're looking for a new adopter. I still have to line up one of the adoptions for the boys, too. Uh, if, if you are the adopter that doesn't have a date set, I can't remember if it's Friday or Monday right now. Sorry, that's just the way my brain doesn't work. <laughs> but, but one of them, um, uh, I know I sent a private message to and I need to follow up on just to make sure that we've got that date set. Um, at least that's what I think. Okay, uh, so that's this class. That's Calendar and her uh, now three kittens left here. Um, so when it comes to the other ones, they're, they're doing great. Uh, Cuddles and her family. So for Cuddles' part, uh, you might know that she had some bad poops, and she, her poops still aren't great, um, but uh, they are much better. So I'm not super concerned about it. A lot of moms have diarrhea. Uh, it's just it's a little bit unusual for them to... Uh, keep making messes um, that are outside the litter box, like for instance in her uh, in her little um, kitten's corner. But um, those are also on uh, d diminishing, so I feel like I feel like things are good. I already do have a call in to Dr. K about it though from earlier in the week, and she did offer to get them some antibiotics if I if I feel like it. I, I don't feel like that's really going to be effective for anything, but um, I might. Um, then uh, we have, oh, and, and Cuddles, by the way, has, has come way around on being a friendly cat. She's, I, I may have called her feral, but it's, she's certainly not that. Uh, and I don't know if I would even go a semi-feral, um, but she is spicy. She's got her own rules, and she's not afraid to sort of hiss and swat at a person. Um, but she's also super friendly and loving, and she already lets me pet her. Yesterday was a big milestone when I came in for breakfast. Uh, I mean, to give her breakfast. I don't know what they're playing with out there. They're making a lot of noise. Oh, I know what it is. It's the mag one of the magnets fell off of this, and uh, that they're batting it around in the kitchen. Um, let's see, where was I? I was talking about... Oh, uh, uh, it, it was yesterday in the morning when I went in to feed Cuddles. Um, I, I actually think it was when I went in to take her food away, not to give her food, but I can't, I it doesn't matter, uh, neither here nor there. Anyway, I went in, and as soon as I opened the door and went in, she jumped up from her kittens and trotted over to see me with her tail held high like a happy cat, and uh, kind of, she, she even gets so excited, she does like the tail shake thing that some cats do. Um, so she was really excited to see me, and then I just leaned over and petted her, which is the biggest, like, that's a big problem for her. She doesn't like to have somebody leaning over her and being way above her and petting her all at the same time, but she was great with it, all purrs, not a hiss or a growl or anything from her at any point. Um, so I felt like that was, the, like, the real good sign of big progress, but... Um, on the other hand, you know, we're not, we're not completely free of hisses and swats, um, so... Uh, you know, it's, we're still figuring each other out a little bit, uh, but I think she'll always be like that a little bit, too. So, um, just something for her adopter to, to have in mind. Uh, now, I don't think it's anything big to deal with. A lot of people have cats that are semi-spicy and do great with them, and it's almost, in a way, more rewarding to have to, to learn how to have a good relationship with them, I think. Um, but uh, it's, not, it's not actually that hard, either. She was very easy. I did not expect it, um, you know, from the description that we had of her. But what do you know? Uh, okay, so that leaves us with Sky and Sky's family, and they are also doing great. Of course, uh, the one that anybody would be most concerned with is Joyce, who was the, the smallest kitten ever born here. Um, she's doing good with her gains. I still come in there and supplement her uh, when I can. I feel like she's doing all right with just mom. But it doesn't hurt when I've got the milk on hand to just, uh, you know, give her some now and then. And she usually ends up taking a little bit. But uh, but her gains are fine. So uh, I'm, Friday is playing on top of the camera right now. So um, sorry about the shaky cam. <laughs> Fry, what did you just do? He just put a toy under the camera and now he's going to try to dig it out. Oh, boy. Well, it is what it is. Um, it's just a little piece of cardboard. I think he's throwing it around. Now he's got it out. Maybe it's a, oh, it's a piece of silver vine bark, perhaps. So um, that's uh, Joyce, the smallest kitten. She's doing great. Uh, great gains, no complaints. Uh, she doesn't really have her eyes open yet, but I, all of her brothers and sisters do, and um, even Alcove. And then uh, this morning it was uh, not Gable, the other one, Rafter. Uh, Rafter's eye has been a little bit irritated for several days now since it first opened up, and um, you know I, I'm concerned that, that it might be what's been going around. I think their mom started it, so you know they're likely to get it at some point from her directly. 
Um, but that same thing that Greg had the, the red eye for several days. Um, so I, I kind of suspect it's that. But also, kittens get goopy eyes all the time. So it's nothing to be too worried about. Uh, the point being that this morning I took some time and cleaned it up and uh, gave him just a little bit of teramycin in there, which is just an, uh, an antibiotic for the eye. Uh, I don't even know that the antibiotic part of it is going to be super useful, although he was a little bit pussy, so probably. Um, but also, I just think the fact that it's sort of a, a petroleum jelly-based product, and I feel like having that in there gives him like some eye lubrication that's got to feel good. So uh, I think it's good all around. And... I guess that's it. We've covered everything I can think of that's news for the week. Um, I'm probably missing some stuff, but if it comes to me, it does. Of course, uh, you know, the DJ is also out of town now for two weeks. She left yesterday. She's still in flight. Um, she just got on her plane in London for her connection. And uh, uh, I guess um, she's probably in the air and having a good time now. So I think that's everything now. All right. Um, I see there's some debate over whether I correctly said Friday or Monday earlier, um, and I have no idea. I do frequently get the two confused. I have to stop and think about it every time, so if I got them wrong, uh, it's on me. Okay. We're going to try to get through all this today, but I'm also going to try to kind of keep it to an hour with so much to get done, so we'll see what happens. But we have three letters and a big, maybe also letter, I don't know. Let's see here. I need something to open this with. Come on now. There we go. Look out, look out. Okay. No heads in the box. All right. Hi. Uh, I took her out of her suit for a little while last night. You might have seen to see, you know, give her a chance and see if she would be cool with it and check on her uh, incision. Her incision's healing up great. It's got like one big scab over it now from all of the nursing and irritation that these kids did, but it's it's in good shape. It's a nice scab, you know, it's not like anything's, it's all, it's all going to heal up just fine. But uh, when I took it off of her, then she could not leave it alone. Like she kept wanting to clean it uh, and make it all wet and gross again. So uh, that's why she's got the suit back on and we'll continue to have it. But you can see she's doing fine with it now. That's Holly I'm talking about, if you're not looking, um, but I'm sure you knew that. This is beautiful. This looks like a, like a Japanese watercolor style, um, I guess. The cat's got a lot more texture than that. The background might just be the watercolor. It's, uh, it's really pretty. Cat and Plum Blossoms by uh, Hishida Shunsho. Shunsho, uh, maybe something like that. Uh, who died in 1911, so whenever this was done. Oh, uh, 1906, wow. Wow, it looks so uh, modern for that. I don't know which camera will be able to see it better. It's really beautiful. And, oh, it's uh, wrapped around another card. We have two cards here. Who knew? Okay. This is also really pretty. This is like a watercolor, but it's mixed media. We've got some little gold leaf on here. Um, it's a beautiful little abstract kitty. So the, uh, the first one says, Hello, dear KA fam. Since Sweet Popcorn got her a duder faster than I could have wished for or sent her the postcard, uh, another occasion arrived to send a card. Congratulations to Teaspoon's official graduation. Uh, for such a small cat, he had a great impact on all of us. I hope the next steps will be as successful as his graduation surgery. All the best wishes from Sweet Cherry Flavor. That is a great name. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess graduations technically when they have the surgery that he had, so I guess that counts. DJ and I have been having not a real debate, but I kind of feel like we shouldn't consider him adopted, which is a different thing. Um, I feel like we shouldn't consider him adopted until he reaches a point where we would have allowed someone else to adopt him, right? Uh, where DJ's like, he's already my cat, and it's really just a technicality, so it doesn't, it doesn't really make any difference. Um, um, but I think the point remains that if we weren't going to adopt him ourselves, then he still wouldn't really be eligible to go home, I don't think, until after he's had his heart surgery. 
which so far we we're thinking is going to happen this fall now. Her, his doctor thought he would be fine to wait another six months and, you know, grow and mature a little bit, uh, that he's not in an imminent danger, uh, but that the surgery is still going to be necessary, of course. So, all right. Uh, this is the beautiful second card that says, congrats, P.S., congrats to Smiling Bex at the top. Oh, for, uh, for uh, uh, Smiling Bex is the one that won the Oracle position, maybe? I don't actually know. I didn't see who it was this time. I, or did I? Okay. Uh, hello, dear K.A. fam. Just a quick hi to everyone, especially to sweet and super cute Till. Such a playful and cuddly cat. I hope after all the other adoption news the last few days, yay to hear soon such good news for her as well. I wish for a perfect home and family for this sweet girl. Greetings, sweet cherry flavor. So that tells us how long it took you to send it out, but I'm glad you did because it is beautiful. And uh, sweet sentiments too. Um, so yeah, that's. I guess I should have read them in the other order, but that's fine. And I guess smiling back, I think that sounds more right to me. Got the earlier one? Uh, no, that can't be right. I don't know. Okay. Let's keep rolling. Uh, this one has a pug wearing workout uh, headband and a butterfly and some cats on it, which is very cute. <laughs> Custard looking good, buddy. Oh, it's got a kitty on a wire. It says, hang in there. And on the inside, oh, a lot more stickers. Wow, things will be back to Meowvelis again soon. We've even got a pineapple with googly eyes in here. Uh, very cute stickers. And we have a written note here. Hello, Teaspoon, Dr. DJ, Mr. A, Eddie Butt, and all the other furry butts. Hope you and DJ are doing well. This card may be a little late because, Teaspoon, you look like you're recovering well from your trouble puff surgery. Glad that you're feeling better and playing with your students again, teaching them the hard work of becoming a ball track and ball tower aficionado. Anyway, here's a well, uh, get well card for you. Hope you like it. It was the first one I saw. I thought it was too good to pass up. It is appropriate for a get well card for a kitty. Um, let's see. I guess this card could be for all the cats that are getting over the cold that they have. Hope everyone is getting over the cold and feeling better. Cal, Cal, you be good now. Uh, I would say that most of them are getting over by the way they were getting ready for the first flight departure of the Flying Furry Butt Airlines with that wand toy that happened a little while back. Yeah, they, they did uh, are, uh, I think, basically over it now. I haven't seen any sneezes and certainly no eye irritation from any of them in a while. So that feels good because, I'll, honestly, for a while, it was there was, a, there was a bit in there where I was feeling sort of depressed about it. Um, but, uh, but it's good to know that it is mostly over now, if not completely. Come sit with me. Okay. Um, Sprout sure does enjoy tapping on boxes for mailbag. Uh, not just for mailbag, all the time. She must be under apprenticeship of box inspector at KA. Must have been a side class that Ari or Custard taught. Make sure the box is sturdy for us to sit and sleep on. It is so cute. I always get a kick out of it when she does it. I do wonder what she thinks that she is accomplishing, though. Skylight is just so cute and cuddly. I love how she leans into more pets, please. Also, yeah, this probably wasn't even true when you wrote, but she has recently started playing with the toys in her room like crazy. Like, she is a, she's as crazy as, uh, as um, Cal here, like a real kitten, uh, which is just great to see. I think it means that she's also... I, I just accused her a few minutes ago of being like patient zero for that uh, URI. And uh, I think maybe she's getting over it too, fingers crossed. She's had it the entire time she's been here. Um, but uh, it's, it's nice to think that. Okay, so where were we? Um, also, when the pineapple, pineapple blanket was in her room on the beanbag and she was making biscuits, someone on the Discord said that she must like her pineapple crushed. Oh, now that's funny. Uh, maybe she likes to make pineapple smoothies to accompany her shrimp teeny time. Congrats to you, Mama Skylight, with your little furry butts that you pew pew pewed out. I hope that Eddie still gets to play with his cat dancer once in a while and that Ari gets his cheese treats that he likes. I love when Eddie is sleeping on his bear bed and Ari is sleeping on his slash Elsie's blue bed. It's just so adorable or just adorable. Hopefully I help someone get bingo on the interwebs. When they are sleeping together, it's extra cute. I guess they can both share it with the other kittens and a custard, but not for too long. Um... Yeah, they, uh, everybody is still getting all the stuff they like. I tell you, lately we haven't, I haven't been giving the cheese treats. I know DJ gives that kind of treat every morning, but I'm not up for it, so I don't know. 
Um, I just give out dry food as treats uh, crunch time, and they all love it. And Ari has been getting like private. Every time that we, I go and I throw the treats out, like you'll see it in the bedroom every night, I do it. And all the cats come running. You don't usually see Ari turn up lately, and that's because he's usually standing on the bed, and I give him a little pile of his own uh, private treats. So... Uh, yeah, he's still getting lots of treats anyway. What a great way to start off a new season. First day of spring and a surprise at K.A. with Spicy Leaf Mom that had kittens earlier that day. Then a few days later, Skylight pews out too. All the names are cute. Do you think Ari could still be smelling Elsie's scent on the blue bed? Hope Teaspoon likes stickers. Uh, Jess and Diane from PA. Jess and Diane, yes. Uh, I don't think that he could still be smelling Elsie's scent on the bed. Uh, it's been washed, even the foam, a few times. So, uh, probably not that. But I'm sure he remembers, and I, he's always loved this bed, uh, and still does. So, I think it's cute. It probably gives him memories of her, whether he can smell her or not. Now, let's see here. Thank you, uh, Jess and Diane from PA. Aw, this is very cute. Also a little watercolor kitty just laying on his back like Custard is doing right now. They could almost be twins. He just needs to roll a little bit further like he was earlier. This says, okay to read on stream as you see fit. All right. And too long, didn't read. Uh, wow, thank you. All right. Well, I guess that was it then. <laughs> Um, I'm in the mood to try to express how grateful I am for all you two have accomplished with Kitten Academy. And because this is the internet, this is a letter. Um, I've done a list. Okay. Some of Mr. A's and Dr. DJ's accomplishments with Kitten Academy. First and foremost, you've made life better for hundreds of cats and kittens. And in some cases, made life possible. You've provided loving, skilled care and valuable training. And you've created ways to find wonderful forever homes for all these amazing fur balls. Uh, you've made life better for what must be hundreds of a, hundreds of a duders too by helping them to con helping to connect them with the felines they love. Um, you've created, improved, tweaked, cursed at, and invented uh, invested so much time and heart and ways for everyone to connect with and enjoy your kitty guests. You've provided entertainment, relaxation, and peaceful and good feels to thousands. Wow. Uh, and you've attracted, facilitated, and bought, brought out the best in an amazing community, one that's full of good cheer, friendship, support, generosity, and creativity. For this longtime watcher, Ivy's class was how many years ago? Uh, nine? Eight? Um, anyway, Discord, uh, mostly lurker, and someone with an attachment to a tiny tuxy kitten she's never met named Kazoo that she can't successfully explain to anyone outside Kitten Academy. Thank you. From Not That Kate on Discord. Uh, Not That Kate, thank you. What a sweet letter all around and fun. Uh, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, it certainly feels like more praise than we deserve, but uh, it's thank you. It's much appreciated. Okay. This says, okay to read on stream. Oh, you're sitting on my letter opener. There should be a spare in here. <laughs> uh, I just feel like it's going to be the easiest way to get this open, perhaps. Wow, there should be a spare in here. Where's that? Now, now I'm wondering. It's the little golden pineapple one. It doesn't look like it's in here. Huh. Well, maybe I can open it using one of these, and then I wonder where that went, though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it'll turn up in due time. All right, watch out, buddy. Ooh, I think we have a photo in here, perhaps. Oh, several photos. Oh, that's right. This is addressed on the outside. I should have said, attention, Sergeant Friday. Uh, and now I think I'm beginning to see why. Hold on now. First off, we have this. Hope these badges arrive for Sergeant Friday uh, before Sergeant Friday leaves the academy. Yes, he's going to need them. Uh, oh, look at that. We have a couple. Uh, we've got a blue one and uh, one that's not as enameled. Oh, and another. Wow. Okay, we have several different variations. <laughs> Those are cute. This, uh, that's funny, because I know when DJ named him Friday, she was sort of thinking of Joe Friday. Uh, she's been listening to Dragnet, like, the entire radio series. Um, but I haven't actually heard that come up in a while. I guess he's kind of gotten his own personality now. Um, anyway, these are extremely cute, Friday. You're going to need those. 
This is beautiful. This is your cat named Guy, and it says he's a really good guy now, 10 years old. He looks beautiful. He's uh, like a gray tabby with white and, uh, and just lovely. Oh, and Squirt on the back is a long-haired brown tabby with white. Very pretty. So there's Guy. There's Squirt. Beautiful kitties. And then we have Arizona Mountains. Beautiful desert out there. The Superstition Mountains. It says, these are the mountains near my home. Oh, wow. Well, that's lovely country. I'll tell you, I've been out there only a couple times in my life, but um, the, the desert is magically beautiful. I mean, just, just gorgeous. Um, I drove from uh, somewhere in New Mexico all the way to Phoenix um, to meet someone once, and uh, that was a good time. Uh, the drive was... I never, I, it was one of my first experiences out there in the desert, and I'd, I'd never pictured it in my head as being pretty. I just, it never appealed to me very much. Um, but it was beautiful, and ever since then, I've just loved it. So, um, anyway, we also have quail. Oh, yes, uh, I love quail, too. My, my dad, uh, it's one of the things he used to go hunting for, but he was never very successful, so don't worry about it. Uh, but they are always so cute. And then we kept some uh, when I was a kid. My mom had like four live quail and she built a little hutch for them out in our backyard, um, which is another story I guess I could ramble about. You say these birds show up in our backyard regularly. I love them. They don't, um, they don't fly that much. Uh, you mostly see them like on the ground, um, sort of hopping around. They make that real distinctive sound. Uh, which I just, I love. Uh, they're, they're cute little birds, too, with that silly little thing on their head. So, um, yeah, I won't get into the whole ramble I could do about them uh, story from when I was a kid. Maybe some other time. I've probably told it before. There's nothing that you guys don't know about me at this point. Probably more than I know. Okay. This, uh, we get to start on, actually, let me check in real quick here and make sure the sound and everything is still working. All right. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go then. I'll get out a knife for this since it's all taped up. I think everything's still working. I didn't see anybody complaining. I actually think I can do a fairly good imitation of a quail sound, but I don't want to try right now with this microphone right up by my face. I would probably deafen some people. Uh, maybe another time. Hmm, interesting. Oh, interesting little cute wands. I was looking for one of these the other day. Because we had one somewhere. Well, I want to find out what this is about. But here you've got like the back scratcher hand. Uh, and here's one I haven't seen before. It's a little back scratcher that's got a kitty head. And the little scratcher are his claws out uh, down here, which is adorable. He even has green eyes like Cuddles does. And I guess, I'm going to guess before I get to your letter, um, that this is to help me with Cuddles. So I can use them to pet her uh, safely from a distance or give her little scratches. Uh, it might have come a little bit late because we've made such great progress, but I'll tell you that the first night that she was here, I, I have one of these somewhere with the hand on it, and I was looking everywhere for it for that exact same reason, or to give her treats on, to hold it out like a long spoon and give her treats on, um, and I couldn't find it anywhere, uh, so that was a shame, but I think probably you had the same idea I did, so let's see here. This says, Dear uh, Mr. A and DJ, I have been practically glued to my phone and office computer. Shh, that's not supposed to be public knowledge. Since the spicy mama, a.k.a. Cuddles, first came to the academy. Watching you slowly tame Cuddles is so, inspira so very inspirational, particularly when Cuddles didn't make it very easy. I am enclosing some extendable hands. Hopefully this can help you tame Cuddles even more by using the hand to slowly introduce her to the lovely sensations of head and or chin scritches. The added bonus will be that you don't have to worry that if you use your actual hand, you may be pulling back a bloody stump. It will also help you with Cuddles babies by getting them used to pets and scritches. I wish you and DJ the best of luck with all the tinies, especially little Joyce. Regards, Dory, who is Safari Kitty on YouTube. Oh, okay, Safari Kitty, just the way it sounds, but one word on YouTube. 
Uh, Dory, thank you so much. Like I said, um, I was looking for these for that same purpose. I don't know if I'm going to end up using them for her now, but I'm going to put them someplace safe so that next time I will know where they are. Because uh, that could come about any time. Now, there's also a very thick envelope stuck to the back of your letter. Uh, that's interesting. I don't usually keep the envelopes, but this one I have to keep because it has a letter on it. Oh, oh, space cats! Oh, man, this is going to spook somebody, I bet. Uh, this is really cute. Space cats. There's a cat in and like an astronaut hat. And uh, this makes sound and noise, I think. Ooh, whoa, that's intense. All right, let's just put it so you guys can see a little... Oh, what is it? <laughs> I don't know how well you could hear that over my mic, but that is intense. Wow, that is really cool. It's got a whole theme song. So uh, it says, thinking of cats and lasers and you, you all are awesome. Uh, from Dory, a.k.a. Safari Kitty. Thank you, Safari Kitty. This is awesome. Wow, uh, I want to see if Cal is going to be interested in it again here. What? What is it? It's okay. It's okay, guys. Do you, do you want to see the cool side here? What does it mean? That is some good sound from a card. Uh, I am I'm quite impressed by this. Thank you very much for it, by the way. Uh, uh, so, uh, Dory, thank you. Okay, uh, the scratchers are a great idea. I, I really, I spent a long time looking for one that first day. Uh, and who knows, they may, they may still come in handy for her, if not for someone. Okay, time to keep rolling. This is uh, addressed to Kitten Academy Endowments, so I think that probably means general use. Let's find out. Oh, oh, oh! It's like a, it's like one of those fuzzy. Uh, it's again that material I never know what to call. It says hand towel balls or cat toys or both as you see fit. Uh, these are in lieu of Cadbury eggs. Well, thank you so much, Lisa for kittens. And she says I resisted getting any for you from Lisa for kittens. Thank you. Oh, because. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been really working hard on uh, uh, keeping away from that stuff, so I appreciate that. Wow, they're like egg-shaped. Um, uh, this Again, I never know what you call this material that's got... It's not marshmallow bed material, because these are more like um, thick. Uh, I, don't, I have no idea how to describe this. Like, like petting an anemone would feel, I bet, uh, if you could do that. So there's two of them here, and uh, I guess they are kind of like hand towels. They would make real good, uh, like, uh, drying cloths or, or something if you were going to use them like a sponge. Or uh, they could be cat toys. You're right about that. Especially if I put them in with some catnip for a little while. So thank you for sending something that's not the Cadbury mini eggs, which everybody knows, uh, you know, they're a big seller at Easter. And I am a huge fan of them. I eat, I, when they're here, I just eat them all. And that's not good for me. So thank you. Uh, we'll find some catnip for that. I think that'll make it perfect. Uh, Lisa for kittens. And thank you for watching out for my uh, waistline, I guess. Ooh. Uh, what is this? A box of toys. Fuzzy tail catnip toys, box of three. No cat doesn't like playing with its tail. It's the best gift for furry friends. Hmm. All right, I want to see what those are like in a minute. There's another box here that just says SZ1018 cat. It's a mystery, but is there a note? Some kind of a note. Teaspoon shelf hanger. Oh, couldn't escape the teaspoon fever after all. LOL from Lisa for kittens again. Thank you very much. And Potato-Rama, pot rama kickers, please split and deploy now. One cuddles, one skylight. Maybe check whether Eddie might want to have the third. Oh, from Lisa for Kittens. Um, let's take a look at these. I have a story I want to tell you that I, I may have already told on the stream, but certainly not during today's mailbag. Uh, when Sprizzle were getting adopted, 
I was thinking ahead, and all week long, uh, in the mornings as I was getting ready, I would watch one of them in the new... Uh, we just had those pink bunny beds sent to us. There were three of them. Uh, they might have come from Bob and Ruth. I don't want to say the wrong thing, though, so I'm not going to say that. Uh, anyway, um, the pink bunny beds that we got three of, I put two of them into endowments already for kittens that I, I think for kittens that went home. But the third one I put in the sunroom, and every morning as I'm getting ready, I've been watching Sprizzle uh, in there, just chilling for the longest time. And I thought, okay, that bunny bed is the perfect thing to send with them. I'm thinking ahead. Um, and then the day of their adoption, was that just yesterday? It seems so long ago. The, the day of their adoption, anyway, um, I'm like, uh, the, the cat is in the, the bunny bed again. I better see, is it, is it, is it uh, Drizzle or is it Sprout? So that I can tell, you know, uh, I can say, oh, this is where, you know, Drizzle has been every morning this week. So I thought that she would like to take it with her. And I go over there and I look into the bunny bed and it's Eddie. It's been Eddie all week. And he was neither one of them uh, in there at all. So it didn't go home with them. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, so, Eddie made me think of that. Oh, these are the uh, these are nice. These are like the marshmallow bed material, and they're catnip kickers. That's uh, that's what they are. So we've seen these before. Fuzzy tail. Uh, I just didn't know what they were called. Uh, so one for each of the mom cats, and one to put out here somewhere, I guess, for Eddie. Which I guess we can do now. Which one's gonna go best in here? Maybe this green one. I think the greenish one. That's what we'll do. Ooh, they're crinkly. I'll put these in my pocket, see if they can stay there long enough to get all the way upstairs with us. Oh, wow. Custard's going to go right for that. He does like a kicker sometimes. He seems to like that one. That's quick. Okay. And this is a teaspoon-related item, you said? Lisa for kittens. Let's see. Wow. Go for it, buddy. You sure that thing was boss? Wow. Oh my gosh, it's so teaspoon. It's so very teaspoon. What did you say it was called? Shelf hanger. Okay, so I guess you hang this thing on a shelf. I'll find the right place to put it to surprise DJ when she gets home. Wow, it really looks just like it like somebody made it to be teaspoon. It's stuck it's got some styrofoam stuck to it. <laughs> oh, now it's everywhere. Look at that. So you just hook him, I guess, on a, on a shelf or something. Uh, I feel like putting him on a shelf, would I wouldn't necessarily feel great about that because there's, there's not enough there. Oh, he goes this way. Does he go this way? Hanging down like this? That could be it, too. Although he looks more like he should be hanging on this way. Okay, we'll figure it out. Uh, I'll go try putting it some places and uh, see which way it seems to hang better. But it is so cute. And I will find a spot to put it that DJ will not be expecting it. Maybe in the teaspoon closet. And then when she gets back in a couple of weeks, uh, it'll be very cute for her. Okay. Wow, custard digs it. That's good. Uh, thank you very much for that, by the way, Lisa, for kittens. This is, this is so cute. The eyes are even... Um, I keep looking at them. They're not the same cast resin. They... They're like inset uh, with a different material that's uh, sort of transparent and they're very blue. And I bet in the light and like sunlight, they would look amazing. He's got little bits of styrofoam stuck to them though, which is weird. <laughs> Boy, you're going to have to get some teramice and get rid of that styrofoam infection, pal. Okay. Oh, receiving blankets. I am receiving blankets. Um, but, is there a note? Here we go. Welcome, K.A. Cuddles and family. You're safe and loved, even if you're still figuring that out. Thank you, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. You take it easy now. For taking in this special family from Frozen Tundra Crew. Thank you, Frozen Tundra Crew. Wow, DJ would love this. She actually said that she wanted the theme in Cuddles' room to be pink. I don't think she entirely got to pull it off because most of the really nice pink things had to go through the wash and then it just didn't happen after that. But uh, these are probably perfect that she'll want to deploy in there. So thank you very much for that. Interesting coincidence there. 
Okay. Uh, Frozen Tundra Crew, thanks. You always send receiving blankets for the classes, and uh, I don't think we've quite caught up to them yet, but we've been going through quite a few lately, so hey, pretty soon we're going to start on that, um, uh, the, the reserves. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is uh, obviously, you can tell from the little drawings on the side from Dragon Maker, but sometimes uh, it's on behalf of someone else, so we'll see. Beautiful letterhead. Oh, we've got whiskers from your kitties. Wow, May May has some long whiskers left here. Um, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, this box is something of a mashup. I can smell the uh, the catnip just like perfusing the room. The wings for Callie and her not so tiny anymore timey wimies are from Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. So there we go. That's the the dragon wings. These are great. They love them. The catnip in them is very strong, and they're a fun toy. Uh, for the Tiny Wimies from Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty, thank you. And the Nip Knots, that's Cat Nip Knots, are from me. They're for deployment how and wherever you see fit. Lastly, there are the whiskers from my girls Emma and Toffee, along with the astonishingly long one from my brother's cat, May May. Yeah, that's what I said. That is astonishingly long. It's at least twice as long as Emma and Toffee's. Um... All right, uh, Anon, Catherine, the Dragon Maker, and Toffee. Thank you so much for sending that, and thank you for the nip nuts. I bet these kids are really going to like them. Uh, I'd like to give them uh, a couple of them to the mom cats. Maybe I can put, oh, once again, a green one can go out here. Now Cal's going to play with the cat nip kicker. She's going to get a turn. I'm going to give the other ones to the mom cats now. They might really appreciate that. That's a fun new thing for them. Uh, and then we have, oh, there's also some colorful ones in here. Look at that. And then from Camp Crazy Kitty, thank you, Camp Cra Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. We've got various colored dragon wings. Uh, we've got the dark green, like an olive. We've got a black. We've got a lime green. We've got a lavender, a uh, hunter green, a bright red, and uh, purple. So that's perfect for you guys. Now, some of these will be a little bit late, but I think we figured out now um, how to get your late endowments from Kitten Academy. It's a very simple process. You just adopt another cat, and then you can pick them up while you're here. So, uh, in all reality, I do have every intention to send those out. So, um, I know that intention is going to take me places. Uh, probably not to the post office, though. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Thank you so much uh, to both Dragon Maker and to Aunt Susie. A knife guard, very thoughtful. The note, nicely labeled. Oh, it's a short one, uh, right to the point. Hi, Mr. A, DJ. Here are the carrier blankets and a couple of toys for the Timey Wimey's class from Lord and Lady Cuthbertson, Merlin, and Destiny. Wow, what a, a bunch of titles for that uh, family. That's super impressive. So again, um, it's kind of my fault that some of this stuff came in late because we didn't get to do mailbag last weekend because I was inundated with kittens all of a sudden. Um, but uh, um, I guess I, I'll, I'll find a way to, to make sure that they get to the right place in due time. Uh, this one's for calendar. It's a lovely purple with uh, with this black and white print on the back. That's beautiful. And then the usual kind of toys in here, all the good stuff. We've got a spring and a little mouse and the thing, I still don't know what to call it, toy, that there's one right there next to the kicker and it's fun times. Uh, Monday gets purple with this retro beach ball print. That's Monday. Julian gets this lovely red with butterflies. Lovely red, butterflies. Gregorian gets a uh, gray with, uh, oh, uh, it's like a VW bus, rainbows and butterflies. That's a very um, retro print as well. I like it. Uh, January gets purple with the jungle, uh, potted jungle. They're in pots. Holiday gets black with pink and mermaids. Oh, it's so cute. The little mermaids are adorable. And finally, Friday gets gray with the butterfly print. Those are beautiful. Thank you so much. Their adopters are going to love them. And uh, we'll make sure that the three that have already gone will get theirs in due time, uh, as we do. So, uh, 
There we go. I'm going to try to fit those all right back in there. And I'm going to put your note in too because I always enjoy seeing it again uh, when I go to distribute these for Lord and Lady Cuthbertson, Merlin and Destiny. Ooh, Merlin and Destiny are some great names uh, for kitties, I assume. Okay. Moving along. Well, I guess next, this one, we all know who this is from. Uh, not just me. This is from the B&B sisters, quite evidently. They always send the big white box with the geometrically arranged stickers. Uh, thank you so much in advance, by the way, uh, B&B sisters, for sending so much stuff that uh, these en the endowments for the kittens are just chock full of wonderful stuff, and, and you guys contribute a, a whole lot to that. I think it's, it's very special. Um, the things you send are all really cool, uh, but then also the volume of them is, is impressive, so uh, it is much appreciated. Uh, we have receiving blankets here, very cute springtime receiving blankets with adorable bunnies on it that remind me of the illustrator for Watership Down somehow. Uh, maybe just because they're bunnies and uh, it's my brain doesn't work very good. Um, there's also a note here, so we can do that before we go through the rest. The note has two black kitties, probably a mom cat and its little kitten, out in a field. The kitten's looking at butterflies, and the mom cat is posed nicely for her photo. So uh, I say photo, it is clearly not a photo, but it's a beautiful artwork. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Just wanted to let you both know how amazing it has been watching you earn Cuddles' trust. It's been amazing to me, too. I don't get to do that sort of thing very often, and it's working out far better than I could have expected. Uh, you say, we are so happy she's staying along with her kittens. We also love Skylight's family and are rooting for little Joyce. So are we. Uh, enclosed are the usual toys, blankets, and food. If you could deploy the top two toys at the Academy, we think Maggie might enjoy one of them. Thank you both for all you do, the B&B &B sisters. Thank you, B&B &B sisters, uh, for all you do. And the top two toys. Well, I did see a B in here right away, a B. So I assume this is one of Maggie's toys. Uh, what is this other one? Some sort of, oh, it is like, a, I was going to say, a grimoire. Uh, is that how you say that word? Now I don't even know. It's a book of magic spells. It says, Claw and Claymore Handcrafts. It's very cute. The details on it are... Uh, why am I leaving it in the bag? Very, very catnippy. Where is Maggie? I think Maggie... The only reason she wouldn't... Oh, you know, Cal's out, so Maggie's upstairs in Logan's room with Logan, I think. So uh, I'll, I'm going to save these and put them out after mailbag. I'll put Cal away right away after mailbag. I'll bring Maggie out uh, immediately, and then we'll, we'll throw these out and see if she wants them. Uh, this is so cute, though. I mean, it really looks like a book. It's got the, the, the way it's been sewed has a little bit of an actual cover on it. And it's a pillow, and it's catnippy. All right. And then the other one has a picture of a bee on it. So let's see. Is it one of her bees? It says hooked honey bee. Oh, it's so fat. Uh, it's a little fat bee toy. <laughs> it's cute. It's got little white wings. Um, and it's obviously uh, crocheted. And there, I think there's some catnip in there. It's got a, almost like a bullet shape. It does not look like a bullet. I guess he goes this way. So uh, that's cute. Very cute. If it goes this way, it's a bullet. If it goes this way, it's a bee. All right. What do you think, pal? All right. I think Maggie's going to love these. Uh, thank you so much. If she doesn't, I know somebody will. Okay, so I can just leave those out here for now because we'll be deploying them immediately after. Okay. This looks like another one of the lovely blankets. Whoop! It's upside down. Uh, that's cute, though. Wow, what a beautiful cat with sort of a teal-colored butterflies all around it. And it's a dark mode blanket, which I really like uh, that it's got like the dark background and the cat stands out there. Um, really pretty. Okay. Oh, Custard's got that nip knot now. Look at the eye on this one. Whoa. Oh, it's a beautiful black cat with uh, some sort of plants around. I see the sort of exotic tropical looking plants. 
He's got gr these uh, really magical eyes. That's that's a beautiful blanket once again. They're all so nice. What's that? Is the light behind him the full moon, perhaps? I think maybe that's what I'm seeing there. Okay. I know I'm folding these extremely sloppily. I, I don't normally fold blankets that way, uh, really. I promise. <laughs> uh, this one is... Oh, this looks also very tropical. I think we've got hibiscus here, maybe. Who? Okay, buddy. Uh, maybe not. Uh, it looks more like that. Looks more like a. Actually, I don't know. Well, here we have a giant, floofy black and white kitty, though. Uh, very sort of Maggie style. Beautiful among some flowers. This one with the white background. Or light, I guess. Hey, be good, you two, custard. Don't start anything. She'll finish it, believe me. Okay, one more blanket. Ooh, I love this color, this sort of cyan, sea foamy, uh, blue green color. And it's a white, um, it's a little white kitty, I guess. I don't know how else to describe him. He's got tabby stripes, but he's got these lovely eyes that match the background, and there's butterflies and flowers around. Okay, custard's sitting on it now. Come on, buddy. All right. Really pretty blankets. Thank you so much, B&B Sisters. There's more in here, of course. You sent a collection of uh, potato chip toys. I can see that. We have Lazy Kitties. <laughs> uh, these parody products are great. Cape Cat Kettle Cooked Fish Chips. Uh, both uh, geographically appropriate and funny. Uh, Peritos Spicy Micey. Uh, that's cute. And Furritos, the original fish and chips. That sounds like a gross chip flavor, uh, but, you know, they're not for me. Okay, so much stuff in here, as always, just packed full, like I was saying. Here we have a Meyer Sardines toy pack. This looks like the kind of thing that reminds me of that envelope. Oh, it's crinkly uh, that uh, Drizzle had so much fun with. Okay, so just occurred to me, I set those envelopes aside for Drizzle so I could put them in her endowments, and I don't think I did. I gotta fix that. I definitely have to mail those sooner rather than later, don't I? Um, okay, here is uh, some sparkly koi fish toys. We've got these crazy, uh, are they jellyfish or octopus? I guess they're octopus. But they've got this stuff, which says jellyfish to me, doesn't it? Uh, they have to be octopus, though. Just with a bunch of stuff on the bottom. Very cute. We've got real fur mice, I believe. Little tiny rattle mice that are fur. We've got a bag of little tiny rattle mice that aren't fur. Um, this is a gumball machine with three gumballs. It's very cute. It says four toys in one. Yes, well, we can count. We got that figured out. Uh, this is Garden Friends. I see what they did there. Friends. Uh, and it's a really cute set. Oh my gosh, it is a garden gnome, a watering pitcher. Uh, a little gardening trowel, a spade, a b bag of plant seeds, and then an adorable smiling flower and a hummingbird. And they're all really nicely detailed. I think that is so cute. I don't know which way you can see it better, but it is adorable. Wow, the little gnome, the hummingbird is great. The plant's great. What a, what a cute set. All right, I really like that one. Hi, teaspoon. Hey, have a seat in my lap, buddy. Sit right there. We have a kicker bunny. He looks very smug. He's got a very smug look and a textured body. And he look got little legs and a tail, too. Lots of extra detail on him. Um, we've got a bag of little fur fun fluffs. These are long-tailed mice with sort of knit tails, uh, uh, crocheted tails. Uh, it's actually neither one, is it? Some sort of textile. Anyway, beautiful. And some more mice of similar size. Rodents of usual size, I guess. I don't think they exist. Um, this is the, that wonderful ball to throw around with a feather on it. Custard's even looking at it. We got another one of those right here. And we have a whale with uh, his little water spout is a feather coming out. And he's made out of that super tough nylon that will never get torn up. He's got really cute embroidered eyes. 
This is an adorable little bunny with his adorable little uh, carrot. And the carrot not only has greens on it, but some of the greens are feathers to make it more fun. And he's got a rattle, too. There's a rattle on the bunny. Oh, and then one more of these, but of a different, different color. And then the rest of the box is, of course, Nulo turkey and chicken recipe, exactly what we're feeding everybody. Uh, even the mom cats trying to get their poops in order are getting regular food instead of the really fatty, uh, you know, kitteny food that we sometimes do that almost always gives diarrhea to the mom cats. Uh, we usually are like, yeah, but it's worth it. Um, you know, they can have diarrhea for a little while as long as we know they're fine. Uh, in this case, I'm like, oof, uh, we really got to get this under control. So, um, yeah, they're getting Nulo and Fancy Feast, actually. I got some Fancy Feast just for them, too, uh, because in the past, we've, I think we've had some luck with um, that not being as rich as some of the other things we serve. Um, and uh, I just thought I'd give it a shot and see if it helps. Uh, whatever it is, it's something, you know, we're trying a bunch of things at once, so it's hard to say what does the trick, but they do seem like they're improving. Okay, we got three boxes, maybe four left, three, three boxes, and they're all, looks like, oh, and a bag. I think we can get through this. Let me check the time. Oh, I don't, I'm not wearing my watch, so I guess it's no time. All right, we'll just keep rolling then. I know I can check the time on some other device. There's plenty of devices here, but I'm not going to do that now. We've got all three kittens here. Hi, aren't you kids so cute? Ooh, what a beautiful red pillow. I think it's a pillow. Hmm. Oh, it says teaspoon on it. It's embroidered. It's a beautiful little red pillow. And it's, it's embroidered with teaspoon's name and a paw print. And it's got a, a lovely red ribbon on it. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. That's gorgeous. It's so soft, too. There's not a note... Um, and I guess, I don't know for sure if this is the person who made it or the person who ordered it since it was shipped directly from Etsy. Um, so Lacey, perhaps, though, thank you if it was you. Uh, there's really no note at all. There's not even a sh packing slip in here, which is a little surprising. But whoever sent it, I'm sure that you know how to get in touch with us and take full credit for it. And you really should. It's so cute. It's really cute. Teaspoon's little embroidered blanket. Um, I mean, pillow. Uh, he, he's going to love it, and whether he loves it or not, DJ's going to love it. Uh, he'll be big enough to wrestle with this soon, though, if he's not already. He's sitting right here watching Cal. Hey, buddy, do you want to see your pillow? Do you want to take a look at your new pillow? Here, check this out, buddy. Oh, come with me. He's sort of concerned about what's going on over there. Who is this? Who is this for, Teaspoon? Is this for you? It's the perfect size for you right now. You can sit on it like a royalty. <laughs> what? What'd you say, bud? All right, you do whatever you want. Uh, thank you uh, very much to whomever, whether it's uh, Lacey or whether that's just the person who made it. Uh, thank you very much. This is addressed to Kitten Academy endowments as well. There are some notes buried here at the bottom, and they say, Churu for cuddles from Lisa for kittens. That is a lot of Churu for cuddles. She does love the Churu. <laughs> she was living with one for quite a while. Um, so she obviously, though, all cats love Churu, and she's, she'll love it. Um, even if we haven't given her any more since that first time. This is a ball track for Friday. Somehow he got overlooked. Um, I didn't send ball tracks for Julian in January because they already have one at home. They got something else from Lisa for kittens. All right, I need to write Friday on that so I don't forget, although I hopefully could figure it out. Bag for DJ. Maya said she likes teal from Lisa for kittens. Oh, well, you didn't have to do that. I don't think this is teal either, though. Is that what this is? It is a bag. Maybe it does have teal. There's some on there. It looks like it's mostly yellow from what I can see. Look at that. Oh, that's soft. Oh, no, that's great. Wow, that's really pretty. 
Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same on both sides. It's a, just a cute little black kitty looking over a teal colored something, counter perhaps, with uh, big kitten eyes, uh, very, very cute, and a yellow top. Um, that's wonderful. If DJ doesn't end up using this bag, I absolutely will. Um, we uh, bring our own shopping bags now, and uh, that's, that's beautiful. So this I need to label for Friday. Uh, Lisa, four kittens, thank you so, so much uh, for all of it. It's, it's really too much, and it's very sweet of you. Uh, okay, pen, Friday. Did I say your name, buddy? You're not even looking Friday, Monday. Okay. All right, Lisa, four kittens. Uh, one more time, thank you for that. Let's see here. Uh, I gotta sort things around a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh, ball towers, the big ones, the big, big, tall ones. Uh, I assume these are also from Lisa for Kittens. Yeah, they have to be, although we haven't found the note yet, so we'll dig through. Uh, these are the tall, four-level black ones, just like the one that's upstairs in uh, Sky's room that she just recently has started playing with, too. Uh, she kind of acts like she's never seen a ball tower before at her age. So lots of new things for her to learn. She does love it. Well, there's no note, but I am 90% sure that this is also Lisa for Kittens, and I would just assume... Actually, I don't know who to assume these are for, so I guess we'll figure that part out. Um, but, uh, Lisa for Kittens, thank you very much. The reason I'm sure is because it, this is also addressed to Kitten Academy endowments, just like your other boxes have been. And then this is... Oh, oh, this is heavy, and that reminded me... Um, uh, Zenathon and Raylene sent extremely practical kitty litter um, for uh, Skylight and Cuddles welcome uh, from Raylene and Zenathon, and I just I brought the note in and left the kitty litter out in the garage. So I wanted to say thank you so much to Raylene and Zenathon. It's much appreciated. Um, I love that you guys always send something that we you know we're going to use. You know, just use it. Uh, so thank you very much. This may also be from you. Because it is new low, another very practical item, the same new low that we do use. And indeed, yes, welcome Skylight and Cuddles and their kiddos from Raylene and Zenathon. All right, uh, it's funny that, that I remembered that because this was heavy and it was also from you. Um, interesting. Okay. Hey, that's everything. Kids, these kids are asleep. I love the three of them sleeping together, though. It's adorable. So, uh, time for me to get up and put this stuff away, and like I said, I'm going to put uh, Cal away too, and then I'm going to bring Maggie down to check out her new toys. Uh, what can I bring upstairs with me? Let's see, this for sure, and I guess it might actually be it. I can't decide where I need to put those scratchers that I will look for them next time. Uh, so, I'll come up with something though. Where's that other receiving blankets? They must have got put in one of the boxes. No, they're under there. Okay, those can go upstairs. That's a good choice to go with me. Okay, all this is going to go up. I think I also have to switch custard for Loganberry now. One second, try to do all these things at once. I know you can still hear me. You're always spying on me. Uh, <laughs> where is that? Let's see. All right, teaspoon, you don't want to get trapped in here. Oh, 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 hang on, buddy. Don't run away. Come with me. Right over here. Oh, good. Cal just ran into the room, so that's exactly where I wanted her. Right in the living room. Oh, she just she just ran over and sat down on the chair like a person. Oh, I don't have my phone to take a picture. That's so weird. By the time I get back, she won't be sitting that way. It's she ran in the room, jumped up on the chair, and just sat down with her arm on the arm of the sofa like a person. I am going to go back and see if she's still there, but there's not a chance. 
that she will have stayed there. Actually, she is in the same pose. Let's see if we can catch it. Probably not. No, well, I got it. How about that? It's not the best photo, but it definitely shows what I'm talking about. She's just sitting there. Uh, and the boys want to go in too. Okay. You want to come too? Come on, Monday. I like putting the boys in with her because, like I said, she loves to play and wrestle with them, and they love it too. Now they're big enough to really be a challenge for her. Okay, there you go. All right, that's part of the problem down. And now we can bring Custard and swap him and Loganberry and Maggie all at the same time. Come on, big guy. We got you. Here we go. All this going upstairs. I should probably get rid of this microphone. Although I did have that story that I didn't tell you about quail earlier. I think some of you probably have heard it, but I don't know for sure. Uh, which, like I said, my parents, my mom, had a hutch that she, my dad built a hutch for her, for her little quail. She wanted these really cute little quail in our yard in Illinois. Um, so she did, and uh, they were very cute. And my little brother, who, I don't know, maybe four years old at the time, wanted to show the quail to one of his friends out in the yard, I guess. So he went out there and he opened the top of the hutch and two of the quail just took off out of there. Um, you know, so he was freaking out, of course, and didn't know what to do, that mom's precious birds had escaped. So uh, he did the most logical thing and uh, opened the, the thing again so that they could fly back in. At which point, of course, the rest left. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but mom has a good time rounding them up from the neighborhood. They were, like, in the trees down the road. Um, that's just one of the... One of the things that's now a famous story in our family, him reopening it to let them fly back in like that was going to do it. <laughs> uh, Maggie, what do we got here for you? Oh, I know you can play with that or you can play with this. I'm just going to give you all your toys at once, but it looks like she's going for that cat tail kicker at the moment anyway. Look, there's a bee for you, too. Oh, she's just rubbing her head on the kicker. That's very cute. I think I'm going to put these in the medicine cabinet for kitties. Where I normally keep the leather gloves, because that's kind of related, in a way. This is all going down to the endowment zone, along with this. Uh, let's see, how do we do this? Those cat tail kickers, apparently a big hit. I remember them being a big hit the first time we had them out too. I'm going to put these in here. They need to be catnipped. All right, a couple trips down to the basement. I'm going to take my mic off now. You don't have to hear me grunting up and down the stairs. You switch it to the regular feed.
for cuddles. Perfect. Bottom camera there looks dark and bright in the room, but I wonder if I've got the lights on even. Let's just check. Okay, well, that was mailbag. I'm going to leave this stuff here for Maggie to find. There we go. I don't know if she's taking that new chair instead of her hammock yet.